Hi, and good afternoon, and welcome to the New Ulm Heritage Preservation Meeting for March 16th. Um, did everybody get a chance to look at our meeting from last time? And do we have approval? So move. Second. Okay. So it's been approved. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion has been carried. Okay. And do you have anything um, else for us? To we got a couple design reviews on the, on the agenda here. The first one is for Kelsey Fredrickson um, for 220 or 211 North Minnesota Street, looking for a canopy there uh, above the front doors. Um, in your packet is a rendering. Um, of what the canopy looks like um, and style materials and stuff. I'm not sure Kelsey's in the audience here. If you've got questions for her, she can a answer those questions for you. Would you like to step up to the mic and say your name and address, please? Got my home address? Or my yes, address? All your home address. Okay. I'm Kelsey Fredrickson, and my home address is 408 South Highland, New Ulm. Uh, what is the awning made of? It's actually made of metal. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I have a local welder that's working, well, hopefully going to be working on it for me. Okay, and do you know the colors of it by chance? Yes, they're very skewed. Um, obviously, it was a friend did the graphic design for me, just so you guys had a better idea. It's a uh, matte black. Okay. And then the yellow is actually going to be a, like a shiny gold. And where you see the buttons um, or the circles on the top and the bottom, okay, those will be lights. Oh, and then there's cool. gold tassels in between on the bottom. Well, there is. Oh, well, there are tassels. Yeah. Okay. And then also, it's it's not quite stretched to the length it should be. It should it should go over to like the black line you see on the windows there. So it's just a little bit shorter than where it will actually, probably a foot. Okay, so it'll go from the, towards the center. Towards the center of where it says, like almost between the R and the hardware there? Yep, just under the E. Okay. So it'll cover that piece of glass? It will not. So this is hanging under the hardware. So the reason we decided to do this, well, we wanted to do this, was because uh, we had Sid signs come and they said in order to mount a regular awning, it would cover the hardware. And the owners before us restored the hardware sign. So we would like to keep it just because we think it's awesome. And it so is. that kind of made us do this overhang type look instead. And do you have is it dimension? open on the top? It will be open on the top. So it'll snow and everything will go through it rather we're than rest on it. Yeah, we're still <laughs> trying to get to that. If we would do, it would have to be at an angle so that it came off and not got too heavy. So he's working on some of that stuff for us right now. Um, I found this um, on another storefront in a different country, and theirs is covered, but they have greens on the top of it, like flowers. But in Minnesota, we don't have that luxury. Well, for a few months, we do. Right. So we are still working through what the top of it will be like, but I'm open to feedback, so that was good, <laughs> good to know. Well, years ago, there were problems with canopies that collected snow sure. unfortunately fell down and killed people oh yeah no we won't we don't want that no so if so we would do anything it falls I would be open sure yeah yeah open or like I said you know like a mounded pitch roof yes sure. pitch roof yep do you have the dimensions on this like um, the width and it's the so length? yep it's about 10 feet okay. wide and then the width is anywhere from two to three we haven't really talked about as high as we want it yet. Since I'm back on the commission new, I would I don't remember what some of the guidelines were for the length that it can come down. Um, and then I'd have to dig out my book. I thought it was three feet. Three feet is the um, minimum. Yeah. Right. I thought so too, but I'm just asking. I think I'm p thinking that's what or it you're is. You're talking the width. Right. This, this way. Right. Yeah. Or the depth. I think that away from the yeah I'm talking it will depth. be it will for sure be three feet away away okay. um, 
just to get because it's curved out. Right. So to get that look, he said it would have to be a pretty good curve, and it's shorter. That's the requirements too. I think so too. Right. Uh, well, signage is. Let me look here for. I didn't bring my book. I had to find mine. <laughs> well, you, there should be a new one. New one. Okay. Then I'll need to get one. And the colors of where it says the painted lady, mm -hmm. what color are those? That will be gold. It will be gold. And we are going to have it wrapped. Um, my welder has a person who does like car wraps and sign wraps. That way it won't rust. Um, it'll all just be wrapped up in the colors that it is. And then he'll weld those um, letters on. So oh. it'll be metal letters as well. And then you're still planning on doing the design in the window? I just We just put that on there um, to let you guys know that we will be putting my logo somewhere on the window. Um, not sure exactly how, but that is my logo. Okay. I don't know if I want it that big because we are going to put some other things on the border of the window as far as what services we are offering just so that people, when they walk by, kind of know what's what the Painted Lady is. Find anything I'm not finding anything on the on the awnings. Um, signage is three feet out, I believe. Stationary awnings are three feet also. Oh yeah, so that well. hasn't okay. changed any. Okay. That's remembering. Okay. But they're also you've got. I mean, it's kind of a hybrid thing with. It's kind of like the awnings with the sign on the valance, mm -hmm. but we're still getting lighting in here also. So that's another consideration that we'd you'd have to look at whether that's. Oh. For two things? Right. Appropriate lighting for, because it's kind of doing dual purpose. It's a sign and an awning yep. type thing. Right. Yep. Um. And there is a light under it as well. So it's not just those little lights. There's a bigger light that's kind of hidden that will shine down too. And where that, where it looks like it's metal on the top, that's where lights are? Correct? On the top and the bottom, so it'll look the like a banner also. of mm -hmm. lights and then lights. Got it. And then I do have one other question. Um, the white brick on both sides is really dirty and stained, so we were wondering about painting that black to kind of match the top bricks where there's black. They have been painted before. And is that wood or brick? Brick. Rick. So do you think we have to have a motion for the sign and then also the motion for lights and then also a motion for painting the brick? Okay. Mm -hmm. But all of those meet the standards that... What's I'm just looking at the, the lighting here. Well, the lighting that's already on top, are you going to use that too yet? Yes, those will stay. All right. So we don't even actually know where the light switch is for those. We can't find one. They're always on. Oh. And we've searched yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so those are staying. And I think we're one of the only buildings on that street that has the gooseneck. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So just, you know, I don't know. It's not really internal lighting. Mm -hmm. It's that hybrid thing again. <laughs> so, um, can you explain what you mean when you say that? Um, well, internally lit signs are generally not in the historical district, and I think what they're looking at is more of um, the plastic signs with um, neon bulbs inside. Okay. The internal lit like that. Um, these are more. I guess I relate back to the back to the beehive that had. Mm -hmm. Kind of internal lit, si uh, right. internal lit signs, but the light bulbs were exposed throughout the whole sign. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I think it was more to get rid of those big plastic signs that mm -hmm. right. can melt after a while as right. well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the lights, too, that are in these are going to be industrial semi lights. So he said they're LED, they're like concealed in rubber and then metal, too. So they're said this the best option sure for getting wet or anything like that and they're just they're on all the time they're not 
flashing um, or no flashing okay <laughs> <laughs> A painted lady with flashing lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Wow, the wrong crowd. Okay. <laughs> no color change, like yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, yeah, just we got that too. To, just to be the white or you'd, they're going to be a really soft, soft, lit, kind of dim yellowy white to go kind of with the gold yeah. look of the of the painted lady. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I think it sounds great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it looks. I like it. I do too. It's nice. So, again, I'm. Are we looking for a motion that we can proceed with this? I move we proceed. Do, do we, we do need we, do a... Do we need to reword it? I think we should. Mm-hmm. Could somebody give me a motion saying that we approve the... Lighting. Lighting within the sign and also that the brick can be painted, the matte black, I believe, correct? more or less to kind of match going with the sign. Do I have to tell you too if we paint the front doors? Or is that, it, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay, the, they're equivalent to the white brick right now. So especially the one on the right is wood. Yep. Um, and the, both of those will be in use eventually. So we probably will either replace that door eventually or paint it. Okay. Okay. And that'll be painted black. I'm, uh, I'm thinking black, okay. yeah, nothing wild. I kind of want it to all just yeah, blend, blend in. Blend together. Well, I make a motion that we ap- um, approve the signage the way she has it on our display here, along with the lighting and the painting of the black on the sides. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 The motion has been approved. Okay. Thank you, mm-hmm. all of you, for listening yes. and taking the time. Exactly. Thank you. What is the pink lady, by the way? The painted lady is um, It's going to be a full-service high-end salon and also a med spa where we will be offering um, Botox, fillers, um, all those goodies, Ooh, okay. as well as permanent makeup. Oh, so, Ooh, Ooh. nice. Yeah. You're going to come back up here and Yeah, w- yeah. yeah. Yes, we will have an open house, so stop by <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, welcome yeah. and good so luck. Much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I love you. the sign. I love Do it. Do I have to come back for anything else? Oh, that's it. No, that's that's it. it. Okay, yep. you're good. You. You're good to go. Thanks, Thanks. Kelsey. Okay. All right. The next design review is for uh, Mike Crawl, 227 North Minnesota, looking at demolishing a small addition at the rear of the building. And the reason we're coming with the rear of the building is it faces third north also. So it's kind of a, again, a hybrid building that we usually just take care of the facades, but this one's kind of got two facades. So. Okay. Um, so in your packet, there's pictures of the building, and um, I believe it's going up to the roof line change, going back that far with the demo. Um, and then there's a letter that came that it's, it's kind of explaining the size, that 30 by 26, coming off the back of the building um, due to deterioration of the building, um, and then opening it up and leaving it as a parking lot. Yeah. Mike, yeah, would you like to come up, please? Mike Crawl with Mike Crawl Construction. Um, yeah, just uh, the building's kind of just deteriorated over the years, even before I owned it. Um, and the the space inside is just, we thought that'd better serve for a parking lot for some of the people that rent the lower part of the building that is staying and the, the tenants that live above the apartments. And um, we're looking to stick in new windows into the apartment and that's very costly and we just can't justify redoing that building and redoing the deck that's kind of been deteriorating too or whatever that's kind of part of it too that it's just we've had problems with tenants um up there just you know with the bar on the other side you know throwing stuff and it's just it's just not a good you know the people that are renting these places are a little lower income and it's just it's just people leave garbage up there and it's just kind of been a, a nightmare and the deck is really deteriorating and starting to like hand really starting to fall off the steps are starting to fall apart um, we just can't justify putting a new deck on there and then just having all the problems that come with it having that deck up there so we're looking at just eliminating the deck and then that back building is just um, we'd like to stick money into the rest of the building the part that's on Minnesota Street 
faces Minnesota Street and needs all new windows and that. And um, the other part that faces Third Street, uh, the older, older, older building that needs new windows and stuff like that. So we're looking at saving some money somewhere and fix, you know, adding money and value and in, in, in other places. So. Okay. So I take it where the first window is on the back side here and where Dan Steffel and is up to up to the deck part to the original building. Nope, nope. Okay. So just where can you see the where the roofs kind of jump up? Mm -hmm. Um that's okay. where Okay. W just that back building. Only the, the lowest part. The lowest part. Lowest correct. part. Okay. Yep, the part that's closest to the alley. The rest of it will stay where it bumps up and then above the deck, you know, all that okay. will stay. Okay. We're going to redo the roof once the deck is removed, if we get approval for that. Redo the roof. It's deteriorated. That way people aren't up there walking on the roof, too. A lot of times on flat roofs, if you're up there walking on them, it wrecks them, too. So we want to get rid of the deck and all the stairs and all that. Clean it up so it looks a lot nicer, you know, eventually put new windows in okay. and, and tear off that end part of the building just because it's pretty far gone. I think that was added on. The brick is different than the original building. Mm -hmm. Even the middle brick yeah. on the building is different, you know, so I yeah. don't think that was originally on there. Uh, yeah. And um, it was added on. It wasn't done properly or something's going on where it's it's falling down. And it's just, I don't want that wall to tip over and, and hurt somebody when they're walking or driving through the alley. So mm -hmm. it's just uh, kind of just a, what we're looking at. So when you remove that, then before that jump up, our pop-up, um, that's all brick. That'll stay right Correct. the way it is. Yep. Got yep. it. I'm not sure once we, we haven't opened it up, that wall, what that's going to look like. Mm -hmm. We might have to do something there. Um, I'm not sure if there's brick there or if there's wood in between the two buildings. Okay. That's so. you. Sorry. Okay. So do you know, is the surface, are you going to put more blacktop on there or be cemented or is the right foundation now I think, pretty you good? Know, I've heard that it used to be an old garage at one time, so I don't know what's exactly underneath there. Okay. So, but whatever it is, we'll either blacktop it or concrete it. Okay. So it will be some sort of a solid surface or whatever. Just to get people, like I said, off the street because it's only a two-hour parking, so it's kind of a nuisance for right. you know people that work down there. they got to yeah. constantly move their vehicles so they don't get tickets. So it would be nice to have, you're only talking maybe three stalls maybe at the most so it's not a whole lot but it's a little something mm -hmm. that, uh, you know well, yeah just to clean it up will be a yeah, great improvement i think it will yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so do we have approval of removing this and part of the building i move we remove i make a motion we remove yes <laughs> do I have a second a, okay all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion has been carried. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <coughs> okay. Is there anything else that we uh, have? City report. Um, if you heard last city council meeting, um, the city let Georges go back to the county. They had no no inquiries on doing anything with with George's so Aww, it's that's too bad back at the county and um, how they proceed I'm I'm assuming they're gonna proceed with try to go for demolition and go on that end of it but oh that's sad um, that's going on um, working on sending out um, a grant for Herman monument to get a more intense study done on this and an internal investigation um, for the tune of estimated about three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to open it up from the from the base from the ground all the way up to underneath Thurman's feet about five feet wide to see what we're really dealing with and what what kind of uh, deterioration and stuff is all going on in there. Um, so once that that has to be. Preliminary has to be sent in by the end of May. Um, the final, I think, is the end of July. We would find out roughly October if we would be beginning or not, and then work could start in December, which then we would send out RFPs for um, architect engineering services to do that, and hopefully, um, if everything would go good, have it start February, March. 
yeah. we've got through of 2021 and go through that year and then see what we've got and proceed from there whether it's able to be rebuilt or we need to look at other options so is that going to affect the reconstruction of the park area no no okay. that won't have anything to, okay. to do with that 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 is taking place this year too okay. and when the when is the wall being replaced that's with uh, they're with working on it that's going to be part of that's going to be part of the the reconstruction of the parking lot <laughs> for herman and stuff a bunch that's, more fell down yeah that's all included in in that design and everything so Good. that will be all taken care of in that 325 no, no that's, that's, that's a, is just Herman. That's just Herman. This is um, reconstruction. Right. This is part of the renew. Part of that money's already renew. Oh, that's some, already been approved. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's going forward. That's they got bids on that a couple weeks ago, and it came in under what what they okay. thought it was going to come. Um, so that's moving forward this year. Good. Yep. Good. Okay. Anything else? that I, I, I have nothing <laughs> sorry <laughs> <right>. to say. <laughs> um, so, well, this meeting has been adjourned. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks.